to the No Invite Podcast. Yeah. Season four. The process. What's up, what's up, what's up? We back. You know what it is already. And if you don't know, ask the best kept secret. What is going on? How we doing today? Um, I'm doing a lot better. A lot better, huh? Oh, my God. Last week was so hard. I've never had the flu ever in my life. Ever. I rarely get sick, so. <laughs> I think that was the motherfucking. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'll say it later, Mick. Go ahead. Tell me what you're telling me. Well, no, because, you know, I've been bragging like I ain't been sick in seven years. I ain't got to worry about getting sick. I ain't caught COVID at all. Um, At first, I ain't going to lie. I was kind of nervous. Like, damn, did I catch the shit? Because, you know, I, I literally, when I say I could not function, like, I after we recorded, I went to bed that night, woke up the next morning and kept saying, like, my body hurt. Like, I thought I had, you know, went to the gym and really put in some work. No, I couldn't walk. I was, like, crawling up the stairs. It, it was ridiculous. I was all flushed out. I looked a mess. Kids was like, what are we eating for dinner? And I... They said I just woke up and looked at him and was like, you need to do it yourself. And then went back to sleep. Like, it was it was That's a right. mess. It ain't nothing that our parents ain't make us do a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, you know what I'm, I'm teaching them They'll life figure skills. it out. You know what I mean? It was really <laughs> hectic. They'll come get you. It's not like you was in another place or something. Um, it's the No and By Podcast. Welcome, Anne. Episode 117. Season 4. It's the motherfucking process, and we're allowing y'all to witness glory and all of the shit that we do. You know, how we get down, you feel me? The best of the best right here. Fuck anybody that got a problem with the podcast. Like a dick. Um, <laughs> you know, but we're here now, and uh, damn, so it's going around right now. You know what uh, What I was going to actually bring up earlier when you were telling me that? you Weren't you the motherfucker that was talking about, I don't get sick. I don't get, I don't <laughs> never get sick. And I think it was that last <laughs> podcast that you went when, when you left. So I don't know if it was uh, it was it was divine timing or if it was just karma coming for you or or maybe just a little you know a little a little bit of the universe. But I uh, don't get sick. That's the thing. I've I literally hadn't been sick. sick in like seven years. Mm, and the sad true. part is when I do finally get sick, it be bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, the same way. Yeah, it be like I'm a hundred percent shut down. <clears throat> I can't function. It's ridiculous but i don't get sick i don't give a fuck what nobody say shit well you know what i think that's prob- probably your mindset and you telling yourself that has probably helped you out a lot because you ever they even say so like those people that are always like oh i'm sick or i don't feel good and, uh, and they don't nothing be wrong with them they make themselves that i think it's psychosomatic symptoms or something like that Brittany, forgive me our, our, our resident professional brent forgive me if i don't if i got that wrong but um, I know I missed her. I'm so sad. Well, she about it. she was supposed to uh, rock with us, but she has something to do. She I, I'm gonna try to get her on at least twice a month on the podcast. Okay. At least she needs to have her own segment. I feel like she could help people, and plus she's just dope. And and uh, and, and just like Hot Mama, you know. Uh, you come to the podcast right here and get your buff on, you know, and get ready for your own podcast. So when you jump out into your own shit, you know, you don't put your ten thousand reps in and you get to go. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because because Hot Mama. She's dope and she's like literally I, one thing I'll give her, right? She got the setup. She got her husband at home that, that knows how to work the equipment and stuff. And she's took it upon herself to try to learn it, right? But uh because of her and it she she wants it, she she's ready for it, she feels like. And um she she's doing it on her own. Like I'm I'm helping, but just more like on um just some um what do you call that? Con- consulting type shit. Right, right, like, right. like we had talked about doing something more like where I, you know, uh, uh, produce the podcast and stuff like that. But she would shoot her and her dude want to do it. I'm like, that's honestly, that's how I did it, you know. Right. And it's good to have it's good to have help if you need it. And it's and and, and but sometimes you just got to dive in. And, and um, I think Brit's one of those one of those people that actually will be really dope when she gets her her shit going and you too you already know i mean i already been told you i'm not gonna sit here and gas you up because you already know and i'm talking about you know who who, who gonna tell me me? who gonna tell them better than me you know (laughs) the one that knows your podcast i know your podcasting soul you feel me (laughs) i i i I, one thing that i i definitely love about hot mama i love how open she is 
She's and when she talks, it's almost sound like she has like a phone sex operator voice. Like she I can listen that, to her voice and masturbate and be perfectly she, fine. She has that talk you out your draws voice. You know what yes. I'm saying? Like yes. <laughs> And you know what? It's it's dope because uh, coming soon, let me drop that drop for her while we're at it. You know, I, the, I think it's untitled. I'm not quite sure. I, if she is, forgive me, I'm high. But uh, dropping February 15th, you're going to be able to see Hot Mama has her own podcast where she's going to be talking all her own shit. And yeah, that's one of the things that I respect about her, that she's free. She don't give a fuck what people think about it, honestly, really. And um She's just uh uh got got just she be letting her nuts hang just a little bit lower than most you people. You know what I mean? So uh shout out to Hot Mama, shout out to Britt, um, and shout out to I like to thank you too. And but most importantly, I like to thank myself. You know what I mean? Of every, course. We all want to thank that you shit you this started year. this. You got us like up started ready, ready shit. to move. And you know what? We gotta we gotta like we said, fuck being humble this year. This is the process. You're gonna see how hungry we really are. Like I'm tired humble. of being nice. I'm tired of being nice to people. I, that's why I really booked no artists this year. You know that? Because every time I reach out to an artist, man, they act like they're fucking like like it's they act like they want me to they want me to charge them or something. It's like, bro, I'm trying to give you free promotion. I'm trying to put you on the platform. I'm not doing it for myself because a lot of you cats don't even got a a, a big wave. You feel me? Next. This is this is what I'm trying to do. And and don't get me wrong, I'm not above uh, interviewing anybody that is rocking or nothing like that. But my thing is is that um I'm trying to give it up for the cats that are hungry. Like I want I want when they look back at my show, they're going one of these cats that I interview is going to become famous. One of these cats that I interview fuck around and be a millionaire. You do know what I'm saying? And I think that what I like the most about what I'm doing is that I'm I want to catch them in the forefront. You right. Know, I want to catch them right right as they come up. So when they look at the Zoom or they hear the audio, they'll be like, yo, dude was young and I, that's crazy. He was on this. You know, I'm like, you know, I want I, I want this. So when I, you know, when I extend opportunities to people, it, it's not because you're going to give me a boost. You know, people, my, my one thing I, I learned about because I make music. One thing I learned about the podcasters and podcasting and music is different. The people that really fuck with your podcast, download your shit, all that stuff. And they listen to it like we go on for hours. Think about it. We go on for hours talking our shit. For real. And and people that, that's dedication. Like I, I really am appreciative. And I've, if I don't say it enough, just know that everybody that been rocking with the podcast, been giving me, been giving Anne, and everybody in the team that has a um that has um been a part of it, uh, a opportunity to see like the um the growth and and just and just fucking with us. I appreciate it because think about it like this. We got we're, we're over like thirty five hundred, roughly um, downloads, right? Right. So um, it's not a lot in, in a podcast sense, but think about it like this: a lot of people can't even. From? A, a lot yes. of people cannot get thirty five hundred plays on one of their songs, and it's three minutes. We get thirty five hundred downloads, and our shit be like two hours sometimes. You did what I'm saying? That's because they love us. Listen, this is why I said, let your nuts hang. Cause that's what oh yeah, that's back to the that, back to my story. See, I'm gonna get my nuts and I'm gonna dunking them on shit to, all, all year. You feel me? Wow, 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 wow. I'm about to, <laughs> about to put one in each of their eye sockets so they can see me coming. You feel me? Hey, but um listen. but the thing is is that I I I I'm I mean I could brag and boast and all that shit, but we still got a long way to go. But the thing is is that I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna say it anyways because we we work. A lot of people don't even fucking work this hard on their fucking, you know, on their on, on shit they're supposed to be doing. You know, we the dedication we showed and the and the consistency that we're showing, man, is 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 only getting us better and ready. So when the time right. comes and that opportunity, I think it's also very important for people to fully understand, like, okay, like you, right? First of all, I was stalking you silently, stalking you. <laughs> um, but from what I saw, because you know, I've always wanted to dabble in music. Mm -hmm. Um, but between your music, you still work a traditional job. You still make sure you take care of your family. You still doing your music. You still got your clothing brand. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like what you got on right now. That shit is lit. Say that shit. Say that shit. Yeah. Um, you still be out promoting, doing shows, going to pop-ups and show up every time for the podcast. 
Like that's real dedication and that's real hard work. And I feel like one of the biggest issues that I have with society is, mm -hmm. is that they only see whatever you post on social media or whatever episode you post, like people don't really see all the work that goes behind it, all the graphics that you're doing independent of anybody else, all the writing your own fucking music, making your own beats. Like people are not actually seeing that. And that is hella fucking work. Like every second has to count and you make sure it counts. That shit is dope as fuck. That's why I admire you. That's why I told you, you from day one, it don't matter who else you interview. I'm going to sit in this seat because I need to yeah, sit by great. I ain't gonna lie. You called it. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna believe. You. I'm gonna believe. You. I take that because uh, at the end of the day, um, the most important thing is that what we're doing, uh, the the process that we are are, are uh, taking on and and are in. That's what's gonna show at the end of the race. You feel me? It's a marathon, like Nip said, right? So we 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 still running. You know, we're running. We're keeping our pace. We're not slowing down. Right. You know, there's there's times where shit could get overwhelming for me and y'all hear me like, oh, I'm probably not going to do the podcast no more. I don't know. Like, but deep down inside, that's not me. That's just me being frustrated, you know, and, okay. and I'll be open on the podcast about that stuff. And I'll be open on my Instagram. Like if I want to if I want to say something, I don't have no problem with that because I know that that in life, this is the process. You know, if, if, if you look at my shit, I'm not on there calling people a broke ass nothing or trying to make no one feel bad. But at the same time, if me doing what I do makes you feel bad and makes you feel broke, then I'm sorry for you. You know, I can't do shit for you. But oh, I, I'm all about, you know, setting the example is what I'm saying. You know, I, I, I want to try to do my best to set the example so that um, other people, other people can uh, do the same thing. So anyways, fuck all that. My nuts is hanging. You know what I'm saying? You letting your nuts hang too. Everybody on the podcast right now, we finna, you know, Patty would be mad as fuck right now because she hates that that uh, that phrase. You know that? What? Letting your nuts hang. Do she hate that phrase? She does not like that shit. Watch this. Look. And we go save for the audience too because I don't even know if she'll listen to this episode because, you know, she's out saving the world and shit. You know, uh, she has to make sure that, you know, everything is okay for us small people because, you know, she's a billionaire, you know, and she was yeah. going to actually join us on Zoom, uh, but with no camera because she doesn't want to show her face because, you know, that's how she moves around, you know. But My how, heart. listen, that makes sense, though. Like, look at how Kanye West walk around. Exactly. Masked up. So she's yeah. like Kanye. She's Same able thing. to afford like a million dollars a month in child support. I would get her, I would give her like one of my masks to wear, you know, my rebirth mask and stuff like that, but I don't think nothing will fit over her head. So <laughs> <laughs> don't do my shout out to like shout out to Patty. Hey, hey, they don't know. I could be lying. She ain't going to show herself anyways. Right. So shit. I, you know what I mean? Let's just say she's, Ooh, you should text her. See if she going to get on. I mean, you know that. what? I, I, I probably will. I'll probably hit her up right now. She told me if she got time, she will, but I don't think she, will. you know, like yeah, I said, she you know, she's out doing her. Shout out to 16th world, Patty, man. I appreciate you though. No. I mean, she got to save. I mean, I'm not mad that she's saving the world for me. You feel me? Right. I don't. Not, I appreciate it because you know, I, I live in the world. Yeah, and and um and and um I'm scared. You know, I can't. <laughs> I, I don't. I can't do what she do. You feel me? <laughs> but shout yeah. out to Patty and everybody on the motherfucking squad. Uh, be safe out there. You know, it's the season. It's it, 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 the season of giving has passed, but some people are still apparently giving it up, huh, Ann? So, um, you know, no, no, <laughs> wait, where, I gotta your, do better. where was your mind at? Where was your, I was talking about the lady that you was telling me about. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Oh, what you've been giving up. So I can't speak for you. Just know that I was talking about the lady that got her car bit. <laughs> <laughs> See, there ain't even no fucking hot mama here. And you on, you on me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm saying some out of pocket shit. You should be worried about what she Listen, says. Like, <laughs> hey, look, I was like. Wait, where are we at? No, we're going with this. Oh, but let me tell you this story. Oh my God, let me pull it up. This shit is so fucking sad. I said, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, I don't got time. And I'm not fucking around with the fuck around. First of all, we know bipping is a whole thing in Oakland. I was right? going to say, give them the breakdown of what, not just Oakland, San Francisco too, but give them the breakdown of what well, bipping you know, is for the world. It's actually big in, um, it's also big in Atlanta too. Like, well, well, once one thing starts and starts picking up, it's, it's, it's yes. everywhere. 
So what's been happening is, you know, you've seen we've seen videos of like individuals coming around and like even trying to get on the freeway during traffic and they bit the back of the car and they'll take like the the suitcase that's in the back of the car and then drive off like bipping is a whole thing. So, so bipping is basically, woman, basically breaking and entering and, and, and breaking in someone's car and stealing their that, shit. That's not how they worded it. That's not how they word it, but we got to give them the definition because some people are like, bam, bam. like you know, we got to make sure we got to. You got to remember, we don't we don't just get listened to out here. Yeah, we got fans all over for, in different countries too, so we got to give them the breakdown. This this well, slang in the Bay Area, in the Bay y'all Area, ever come visit y'all. Come to California, put your stuff in the trunk. Don't leave nothing don't visible leave in your nothing car. Don't leave nothing in the car where people can see it. Don't leave shit on the seats. Don't do none of that. Because this woman, you know, she's an entrepreneur. She has her own business and she had $40,000 that she was going to do a bank deposit for. The $40,000, according to what I heard, was she was the profit that she had made last year. Mm. And so she was going to do like her big deposit into the bank. Man, she was supposed to go to the bank first then go to Starbucks. She, she drove straight up. to Starbucks, didn't she? She went to Starbucks first. And by the time she walked into Starbucks, ordered her drink, by the time she got her drink, she heard that they were bipping cars. She heard them like breaking the windows. She ran outside. They got her for forty thousand dollars. I said, Man. oh, my God, I will be losing my mind. Like, imagine like man and then i think she do like hair or something so i'm like damn what if the person who bipped her car is also her client so her client like Woo, that's a little that's a little hectic a that's a little, a hair, hair that's a little too soap opera ish for me but I, I know where you're going with that that would be wild though my, my whole thing is is that um yo i i would i i'm not gonna even hold you i was in san francisco on fisherman's wharf and uh, I was out there, you know, on my on my day shit, on my lunch, driving a little scooter around. You feel me? Getting some sun rays, you know, little rental electric scooters and shit. Yeah. Your boy was mobbing. And I bullshit you not, along this whole street, they had to be like three blocks long. Every other car had its window broken. Glass on the street. I mean, I'm like, I'm talking about it looked like literally somebody was just like, I'm starting at this point of the block and I'm going to walk all the way this way and I'm going to just cleaning up every time i'm gonna bag this shit up i'm gonna be fucking people up and um i'll I be i'll be thinking like damn bro why who, i mean who doesn't know about this out here i get it i get it if you're from somewhere else and you don't you come out here you don't know but like if you live out here and you and, and some of y'all ain't never stole something or had something stolen from y'all and it shows it's for like real <clears throat> But I, I, I tripped the fuck out. It's really a thing. They took her ass down. See, Starbucks is the devil. Hey, look, you feel me? And imagine that forty thousand dollars. I was like, whoever got that lick, oh they was gosh. happy. It, let me find out. It was a crackhead, like I was saying. Man, the motherfucker <laughs> crackhead was like, let me get, let me get both of them. The, whoever the whoever the D boy was. Oh my god, he. Yeah, but that crackhead probably gonna OD and die. Nah, man. So that might be forever. A when's the last time you heard of a crackhead OD? Now, I, 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 meth, maybe I heroin, all this other bullshit <clears throat> that people be doing out here, these these purpose <clears throat> and all that shit. But you know, crackheads live forever, bro. I'll I put it this way. There's crackheads from my neighborhood right now. I'm damn near, I'm a full grown man. Like, I'm not a youngster. You feel me? And these motherfuckers are still out there surviving hey. the elements. Whether. Man, I listen. You know, I'm, I'm down here downtown by 10th Street. <laughs> no, one. no, I know. Man, there's one right now. She pops in my head when you said that. That I'm like, I remember she like old school crackhead. She's yeah. an old ho. And I remember her. Um, you like remember where Riverside was? Correct, yep. Right. So I used to go to Riverside right there mm -hmm. on Black Diamond. Really, and I remember walking from Golden Star mm -hmm. and you know, somebody honked and she yelled at me, Bitch, you stealing my clients and chased me down the street and I ran straight into the school. I just bought some. I just bought some stamps from her yesterday. Like, yeah, it's it, it's crazy because like when you say that, it's like not to derail from the bib situation, but like when I think about it, it's like, yo, these are the crackheads I used to send to get me beer and blunts and shit at the store when I was like sixteen. <laughs> I couldn't even fucking buy shit. I'm forty one years old now, and this motherfucker's the, the the other crazy thing. This motherfucker looks exactly the same from when I was a kid. They ain't really much changed. You know what I mean? Mm, probably the teeth. 
I mean, well, yeah. I mean, teeth always but, go. And but them, them the first to go. Those are the first bystanders in this war that that go down. You feel me? So, but um, anyways, I, just for the record, I had I wanted to bring that up. I know you was telling me about it earlier, and I wanted to give everybody all over the world that listens to the podcast a fair warning. When you come to California, especially northern but southern too, because I seen it out there. Don't for keep real. shit visible in your car. Um, if you could help it. Park in a pay that extra money and park in a parking lot, you know. Um, listen, this is a PSA. These motherfuckers is out here stealing five dollars. There is no point where you should have forty thousand, twenty thousand, ten thousand, five thousand. Hell, I don't even leave a hundred dollars. I won't leave twenty dollars where anybody can find it. Like I leave, said, man, if y'all, this is why women have boobs. Okay, this I'm is what our right. boobs are for. You no. t- you t- I mean, one of the many things that they're for, <laughs> yeah. but, you know I mean? but definitely, but a, it's a do you wash state. your boobs though? Do you do you wash your boobs after all, all day? Like, yes. put it this way, okay. I, I mean, I'm not even gonna ask you about the shower situation. We don't went through this whole shit again. Okay? I, oh you know, I mean, God. I yeah, yeah, yes, and oh my God, for I the women who is put money in their boob, please lift the titty and wash under it. Like you have yeah. to wash the full titty. It's a thing. Yes, it's it's and a thing. I, that's what I was gonna ask. Kind of like it wasn't like whether you do you personally do, but you, that's what it's supposed to be, right? You're supposed to wash under there after yes. a, a long day of holding money and wash shit. A long you know, your man comes home, he want to get a little tit, you know what I mean? And he goes and gives it a lick. Have you shit. ever sucked on a sour titty? <sighs> I'm not a sour one. I'm gonna say like salty, maybe where she uh, oh. she was like, oh girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your ass in the shower. See, that's why I said this to me. I'm a, I'm a big, uh, I'm a smell person. So I, if I stink, I'm going to have a problem with myself and I'm going to call it out. I'm going to do whatever I can to fucking fix it. But, um, no, oh, hell no. Nasty. Yo. Flash yeah, I, <laughs> that, I mean, you know what, though? I feel like dudes don't mind you. Like, they want that fresh off work and still want their dick sucked. And they'd be like, mm. Mm. I don't. I don't want anything from you, fresh off of work, girl. And I don't. I, I, I don't. If she's a fresh off of work, go wash your ass. You know what? Just because I'm the same way, I will come home. I'm wash my ass. You know what I mean? I, if I be, especially I mean, if I'm gonna ask you for some sex, I'm gonna jump in the shower and be like, "What's happening?" I'm gonna dunk my nuts. You feel me? Like we was talking about earlier, I'm gonna dunk my nuts out I, first. I'm Whatever. likely jumping in the shower <laughs> with you. Like, hey, Th- yeah, yeah. Over. I mean. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So, anyways, I don't know how the fuck we got here, but you're right. Some of y'all, uh, I'm right again. Some of y'all ain't never stole or had anything stolen from you, and it shows because that money would have never left my body. Period. I would have had that motherfucking shit straight strapped to my leg, whatever the fuck I needed to do. That's what I'm, and I'm not leaving it. I'm not going to Starbucks first. Period. I don't you know give a fuck what, how you feel. I feel like she did a mobile order, so she felt like she was just running right in and running right back out. Yeah. Look how she feel now. She felt like she could. Now how she feeling? <laughs> like I said, some I couldn't never imagine. stole or had something stolen from me. You feel me? And it well, shows. She's probably from Piedmont. She was from Rockridge, and uh, <laughs> she doesn't appreciate you laughing at her pain. And we're not. We're trying to educate people. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to make only you could prevent the bip by not having <laughs> shit to bip. You feel me? Because I rather much rather had them break my window and find nothing than break my window and find my forty bands. That's my point. They breaking windows and getting jack shit. Nothing. That link I know was like man. We did it. It was a player's holiday, you know. It was, There's it was some lit. people that only make forty thousand dollars a year. You yeah. just gave somebody an annual salary. That's right. And you gave it away. You know that this is a problem out here. If you're a business owner out here, then that means you've been out here long enough for you to know that this is a problem. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't get it. Was either. in Montclair? <laughs> Come on now. You in an area I where I know y'all got a little bit of money. So yes, I'm taking y'all shit. Hell yeah, I'm taking that shit. That's that's Bip Central. If you're like on one of those, if you're in one of those cities that's like on the fringe of a bad part of town, even if your part of town is clean and it's con- your whole city is considered like a, a upper class type area, that's where everybody from the lower class goes to go steal shit. In case you didn't know, did so, you know when everybody was going in the um in the comments, right? Mm-hmm. They was like, man, she doing that for an insurance scam. Here's the problem I have with the hearse. I was thinking that too, but I'm like, how does that work? How do I'm not you really educated. ensure cash that that you had no record that you received? 
well, she's a businesswoman. How you know she ain't got records? What if she got receipts? And what if part of, you know, since she's a small business, she has to transport her own money to make these deposits? Correct. So. In your car, which means you're using your car insurance. You may, you're not going to get the full 40000 well, What if you back? have like business insurance where it could cover you And how you do you have like proof that, that you had that $40,000 inside that car? The receipts and your savings and shit? I mean, you just Well, you can't have- say business. In, well, I'm going to do some research on it. Because in my head, you can't say it's your business insurance would be paying you because of the fact that this did not happen in the establishment of but, the but business. That's what I'm saying. It, it's part business though, because you, it, it didn't happen in the establishment. That money was made in the establishment, but you have to transport it somehow. It's not going to. So, so what's the point if it's not covered? You know what I mean? Like I, I, that's how I would feel like I'm like, Who yo, actually you, is paying that. That's going to be a good question. I'm going to have to do some research. I, I, well, hopefully, you know, prayers up to her. Hopefully, you know, she does get her money reimbursed because that's fucked up and foul that she lost 40 bands, but you got to be quicker than that. You can't just leave it now. And if you, hey, what, what Biggie say, if you don't know, now, you now know, you know, you know. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to keep it moving. Megan Hall, the infamous, uh, Dick Slayer, <laughs> the cop that got half her precinct and herself fired from uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, see, I, 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 I don't know why we never brought this up earlier, but I'm glad we didn't because it's kind of the story is still kind of developing. And, and, and it's funny because as much as they be trying to make the, 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 the cops and the police force seem like they're not they're they're, um, I'm not going to say machines, but like, yo, we're above reproach where, you know, where we set a standard and we live by it and the thin blue line and all that bullshit. These motherfuckers are dirty like everybody else. And you know what, though? Before I say I pass it to you. Also, when I mean dirty, I just mean dirty in general. Um, I don't think she did anything wrong. I mean, if you want to if you want to fuck whoever you want to fuck, that's cool. They say her husband's staying with him. With her, so um, I'm assuming that they probably, even though he probably say it, they probably on some shit like that already, because ain't no, I ain't no way. And let's see, but I mean, I seen the pictures of him too. He looked kind of wild, like. But um, how do you feel about this situation? Okay, first of all, she did do something wrong. What she do? She got caught. No. <laughs> it, 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 the, the, <laughs> exactly. Um, but she was fucking on the job. So if your job is to protect and serve and you bent Can over. Can you imagine back, that? What if somebody was calling, begging like for their life or something, like getting chased by goons or or getting into a fire just the, or getting robbed, like getting their car? All you hear in her camera is <laughs> camera blinking in and out and shit, you know, like when you hit the camera. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely hey, she, she was absolutely wrong she should have got fired because <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i do i'm and it turned into a pirate on us right now should have got fired <laughs> <laughs> this golf is like man it's never ending and it's not going away it fucking sucks i swear to god right, she got a smoker's coffee she don't even smoke <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. i got everybody looking at me like you got covid no i fucking do not Ugh. So, um, but no, she dead ass wrong because she was fucking on the job. So she was fucking during the time that she should have been protecting and serving. So for that, absolutely, you should be fired. Get rid of you because clearly you don't know your job description or you don't know that you could fuck before or after work. Like you could have easily just lied and said you was working overtime or whatever. Um, I, I want to say, what's that movie with Denzel, uh, American Gangster? What was the dude that he played? You remember? You know what I'm talking about? Um, the one. Where he was like, King Kong ain't got nothing. No, no, that's Training Day. Okay. American Gangster's the one from the 60s. Um, I know, I've never watched Frank it. Lucas. So Frank Lucas is an infamous drug lord that eventually turned states and um, testified against cops, dirty cops, and got a, like a bunch of motherfuckers. Like a lot of cops went down, you know, because there was a lot of corruption in New York at the time. But he was like a kingpin type dude from New York, right? Um, I was going to say, it's like, damn, I think she done... Only, only Megan Hall can take down as many pre- pre- as much precinct as uh, what's it called Frank Lucas did. She done took down half the force like he did. So um, apparently now they're, um, they're I guess they are going to. Uh, there's a strip club in Tennessee that's offering her ten thousand dollars for two shows or ten thousand dollars per show to get up there and strip. Now I want to get I want to say this and say this right now. She is the ugliest <laughs> fucking 
bubblehead bitch I done seen in a while. I'm not going to say that I've ever seen, but she ranks up there. You seen her though, right? Yes. And I was like, oh my God. She, I mean, look, I'm 41 and she, she I got a better hairline than her. Her oh. shit, her shit, oh way back. She got. Oh the, my god! She had the, uh, she had the the convertible, but you know when it gets stuck and it don't want to go all the back all the way. <laughs> the convertible. <laughs> is, uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm a guy. I know this shit, you know. So, uh, but um, they're offering the ten bands a show. Um, she's. I don't know. Well, I don't think she's taking ten a- bands to do two shows at the Nashville Strip Club, so which really means she's only getting $5,000 a show. That's not bad, though. What I'm saying is, she as be long up there as you no got a piece of there's no reason for you to be fucking broke. <laughs> she's going to be up there with no rhythm. Like. <laughs> <laughs> she, this is all she knows. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so look, let's backtrack oh, a little no, bit. She may have rhythm the way she was taking all that dick. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't see it. She, <laughs> I think she was just laying. I think she strikes me as a dead fish. Oh my god, she's just laying there taking. That pipe. would be fucked up for the men who got fired, bro. It's fucked up. Period. I'm like, bro, you out of all the bitches Listen, that you, you could get you know, fired from, you getting fired from this bitch. This right bitch now, got y'all fired. Imagine right now, um, I'm supposed to be on air with you, right? Correct. And imagine me putting. Like taking out a whole piece of something, and I'm over here, <laughs> <laughs> and with her leg up like this, getting head. <laughs> and all you hear in the background is like the moaning. You're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Imagine calling, and they they're, they're trying to dispatch you to 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 go help somebody save somebody's life. She back, she around the corner giving a blowjob and shit. You know, he's like, that's <laughs> fucked up, right? I, I'm not, look, I'm not a cock blogger or nothing like that. Go on and get your freak on, fuck whoever you want to fuck. No, my fuck thing that, is, because our taxes thing is, is paying for them. Exactly. Fuck that. Do your motherfucking job. I know, listen. And like I, I said, right somebody now, somewhere out there could have used their help. PD right now out here, they know that the first thing coming out of my mouth, bitch, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have a job. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because we choose violence. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's backtrack a little bit. You are... Do you think she's worth $5,000? Fuck no, she's not, bro. But you know what is genius on behalf of the Tennessee people? Because you know how many motherfuckers, especially... I mean, the strip clubs. Because if it's... It, they said Atlanta strip club or Tennessee? Tennessee. That's local. So just imagine how many people would just come just for the fuck of it. You know the sad part, though? Uh that's probably going to be very dangerous for her. Yeah. Just because you already got people who have like these sick fantasies and will obsess about you. You yeah, already then made, went viral with this national news. Then when you jump your ass on stage, you basically going to be, and you ain't got be no rhythm. belittling whatever it is that you thought credibility <laughs> you had with the, with the um, with the badge on. Uh-huh. And now he's just going to be a whole bunch of like perverted, freaky motherfuckers willing to pay you to like Look, piss there's on a, him. There's another layer to this though, right? And you said piss on him. That's wild. But um, uh, <laughs> you know they pay for that. I, I'm, I know they do. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, I was going to say there's another layer to this though. Like how many motherfuckers that she done locked up, roughed up out there, smacked around Ooh. for all we know? Like That's probably why. Because it says she ain't take it, right? They don't got no response whether she took the offer for these jobs, which I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <clears throat> I, bitch, you. It's I'm, not, the, I'm the husband. You already the, I'm the getting, husband. You already done fucked everybody. Bitch, get up there and get this money. Yeah. So I oh. think her husband should stick around to help her spend his money. Because I was going to ask you that. I would feel entitled as as your significant other. It, it, okay, so that if that was your husband. If that was my husband and I found out that you can jump your ass on stage and make a cute coin and we could really make some money off this, fuck yeah, I'm going to stick with you. I'm probably going to be mad, have an attitude, go on shopping sprees, all kind of stuff. But I won't be leaving until I have bled you dry for, for every sure. penny. Until you get your cut for your me- yes. mental anguish. You got to pay my pain and suffering. For the embarrassment of taking down that duck. Now Because think know about it like this, be- though. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, finish. No, I was going to say, think about it like this, because some of them, they could have been married. I wonder how they wives feel. Listen, and the other thing is, I know, so from a man's perspective, it's probably not this big of a deal, right? Mm-hmm. But from a female's perspective, if this story was my man and he ain't even blessed, 
I will be pissed. Bitch, you telling everybody I'm fucking with somebody with a little dick? We got a fucking problem. You done revealed your shameful secret, Ann. Yeah, like I will be pissed off. The fuck you mean, man? I will be, oh my God, I would lose my mind. Like, so you tell me oh my God, friend? everybody know I'm fucking with a little dick. Hold on, hold on. So you tell me a dude with a little dick ain't allowed to cheat? Fuck no. Especially not publicly. <laughs> now, if he, you know, if he blessed, if he, you know, slanging, if he got head out of this world, I could deal with that a little bit because, bitch, now you know why I'm not letting him go. But if he faux pumps in a wiggle and he's running around here like, mm, then, ugh, sir, how dare you? You going to pay me for this. <laughs> for your stress. For yes. your mental health. For you embarrassing me publicly. Like, at least if you're going to embarrass me, have people saying like, oh, she must be digmatized. That they got her going crazy. Don't be having people laugh at me like, I don't know why she's with him. Facts. I, I'm going to agree with you on this one. I'm going to say, yeah, if it was me, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely be like, bitch, get up on that stage and run it. I'll be in the crowd with the strap. So if a motherfucker run up on you, I got you. But we're going to get this 10 bands and then I'm going to need all of it for the embarrassment. <laughs> and then after that, you after that, uh, I might just not fuck with you no more. But I'm not going to tell her that. I'm just going to cut you off. Yeah, I'm probably going to just ghost you after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then, uh, you know, and me and my, where, where my brain and, and what I would do with 10,000, you know, I, I might, I might just see the rest of her pre-scene eventually, you know, but, uh, <laughs> plus on top of that, you got to remember, right? If she was fucking with you, some, there's damn near somebody that she didn't arrest it, whatever, they going to follow y'all home. Like you got to be a hundred percent on all yeah. the time. Yeah. Who want to live like that? You know, she kind of strike me as the little, the little mean ass cop bitch. Cause she's small and shit. Talk the most shit. But who knows? We definitely know she was taking the most dick. But, um, you know, <laughs> we're going to keep it moving. You know what I mean? I know you've seen it because you know we got the group DM, so we share this shit. Uh, Dana White, the dude that makes, well, that, that owns the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, he has a new league that's called the Slap League, which I feel like he owes the Bay Area at least, at least something, you know, some kind of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Restitution for um, using slap in the way that they using it because uh, you know we we started this slap shit. But anyways, it's neither here nor there. Uh, he got a new slap league right now. Are they doing too much with the slap league? I know you've seen it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I'm not participating. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I'm, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to like engage in it. I don't. Mm -mm. I'll watch it. I'm not letting nobody slap me ever. I'm not going to stand there and willingly allow like there is no amount of money that you can give me that would lead that would fuck up my instincts. Like I'm I'm going I'm going to lose regardless. That's how I feel. Because if you slap me, I'm going to take it too far. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I'm my re my response me. is going naturally. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can't see myself lining up to get slapped. And it's not really that entertaining, to be honest with you, because. It only takes like, I think so many pounds per square inch, like two or three pounds per square inch to knock anybody out. So it's really not a, 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 a what's it called? I mean, people have better chins than other people, obviously, but it's not something that's really going to be interesting enough to be like, oh, well, he has the advantage. No, it's if you hit him in the right spot. Exactly. And and, and they go round. So if you take by the third time I slap him, I'm, I'm sure the first time is going to be enough. But by this, because I know where to hit somebody. To put their ass to sleep. So, it, you know I me mean? at the same time, I'm not gonna line up and get fucking slapped. You got me fucked up. Like I take that shit. I, I'm I'm a firm believer is nobody touch nobody, nobody hit nobody, none of that. You know, respect each other's space. Don't hit me if I'm in a relationship. Don't hit me because I'm not gonna hit you. But now, if you hit me, I'm gonna beat your ass. Now there you go. Yes, I say I, you, you I'm a firm believer in self defense. Lady, but you may have to slap the fuck out of a bitch. Yeah, I slap the fuck out of a bitch, and that's the things. Like I don't hit women, you know, but I slap the shit out of a bitch. And you slap <laughs> the shit free, and, and and I'm sure, like you know, uh, it's all the same. But back to the sport, I think they're doing a little. I think bit too the much. sport is stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's get, it's popular. But, but I mean, we was doing that shit like middle school. There he was. We was having knockout contests way before That's that shit. That's what I'm shit, saying. So. Like, come on now, y'all. Y'all <laughs> doing some old ass shit and trying to like bring it back. But the biggest See, problem, the biggest problem for it, me is, huh? 
No, I'm saying when we do it, it's illegal. But when they do it, it's they're, they're exactly. making a fucking they're making a sport out of it. But also <laughs> the other thing is, you know, um, oh, what is the is it called CTE? Yes. So like we have no clue. These these are people that's trying to slap you at full force. For and sure. we know in football they running after you and hitting you with full force and you have all this padding. How do you know that this will not this will not be linked to CTE? I mean they don't. It's a brand new sport and honestly they don't give a fuck, bro. And that's they, the, the first problem. thing they do is they make these dudes sign these contracts and wave their fucking, you know, they know what they're risking when they're stepping in. They know that there's a possibility to look at the young cat, the football dude that almost passed away on the field like a few weeks ago, Demar Hamlin, uh for the Bills, the Buffalo Bills. He got hit. It wasn't even an illegal hit or even it didn't even look like a hard hit. But he almost he had cardiac arrest. He fucking literally died on the in the, on the football field, and they woke his ass back up. That right there, and and who's getting who's gonna get in trouble for that? The NFL, exactly. No. So no, I'm not. So, I, I'm personally anti. So y'all never have to question where I stand on slap yeah. boxing or slap whatever the fuck yeah. is called. I ain't interested in it. I'm not going. Don't to invite me you. to watch the pay per view slap fest because I'm good. You feel me? That yeah, shit no. boring. I don't yeah, even want to show. I show up though if y'all having a party and some free tequila. I come in, pour myself a couple shots. You know, get a little tipsy and drive myself. Well, I wouldn't drive myself home. I call an Uber or Lyft, but I'm going home. I forgot I, who who said that popular joke, but they're like, "Yo, you slap somebody. That's like worse than." Then stabbing them or shooting them is like no, for real. Somebody, somebody got to die. Oh, it was uh, uh, Charlie Murphy when he's yes. talking about Rick James, and that's real. So that's some real mentality shit from the streets, though. It's like you could punch a motherfucker, get into a fight with them. You could damn near shoot it out with them and all that other shit, and damn near I'm not gonna say be cool, but squash it. But when a motherfucker slaps you, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's disrespect on a different fucking level. To me, them slapping you is them calling you a bitch. Exactly. It's like uh, it's like fucking demeaning you as disrespecting you and fucking assaulting you all in one. It's it's ruthless. You get slapped. That means the motherfucker has no respect for what you could do or what you might do. They're just you're just like a th you're nothing to them. So I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. Like how we talked about how Will Smith slapped uh, Chris Rock. That's some fucked up shit, too. But it was the same thing. He looked at him like you ain't going to do shit. Because if, if he felt like somebody was going to do something, or I know at least if I feel like somebody's going to do something, I'm not going to slap them. We finna fight. Because if I slap you, what the fuck that going to do to you? It's just going to, no, we're going to fight he anyways. Wanted to, he wanted to disrespect you in a manner that would not make him lose everything. That's why I slapped you. I slapped you because I want you to feel like you my bitch. Exactly. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. It's like somebody would like like Charlie Murphy said, man. After some, you slap somebody, somebody gotta die. You feel me? So that's real talk. But um, ah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not with that. So All you right, so, want, you ain't gonna participate? No, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna pass. Um, I, it's not interesting. Like I said, the, I mean, like I'm not hating on it. And people, you know, whatever. If you want to prove, you could take a slap like a real motherfucker. Then go on ahead. But uh, to, it's just not entertaining. Football, you know, there's drama. You know, there's this and that. Where's the what 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 what? Where's the theatrics? Where's the shit for the slide? You just living there. Oh, scene. and they doing Sit. it with the baby powder, right? That even that's that is even cool more. Though. That's some pimp shit. That's how. What was the? Oh my god! Now, powder. What's that? <clears throat> <clears throat> I forgot the name of the show where he be like, put the powder in my hand. It's uh, was it uh, how high? Day Day plays the role. Yeah, how high? It was a movie. Oh yes, how high? Where he be like exactly? Baby powder was the pimp's name. Exactly. So the big pimping since big pimping since big pimping, y'all. You know saying, all your all your family was assistant pimps. You know what I mean? So, right. So but, there you go. So, so yeah, I'm not I'm not signing up to get slapped. It's not something that's gonna hold my entertainment. I mean, they better have like a concert or something between the fights or some shit because it's just not. It's just like what? It's like all we're seeing is who could take a hit. It's not even like boxing with a strategy or UFC with a strategy and skill that's involved. And it's stupid. Okay, so look, we're going to get to this issue. We're going to get to this topic. This is the only time I'm going to address it because this shit, people already know I done spoke on it before. Uh, and not in this situation, but just in general with uh, the other Rainbow Rat. Snitching in music it is like a trend now almost. It's like, um, like more common now to see somebody not only... Um, well, snitching is snitching. Snitching been snitching since been snitching since. Be, when as soon as as soon as Adam and Eve popped off, 
somebody, the third person, somebody was snitching in that motherfucker. All right. So look, we I got going to go somewhere left. Nah, man. I, you on. see, I had to take a sip of water. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, mm-hmm. where's this going? I'm going to keep my blasphemy to a minimum, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to get <laughs> struck down by lightning and shit. So, um, yeah, right about now, we got Gunner uh, being accused of snitching. If, yeah, I don't know how people feel about that. I don't I don't really care if they, they, they feel about it. If we're talking about the law of the land, uh, we're talking about um, streets and how the streets work, he definitely snitching. Yeah, I feel like the problem is street code seems to be shifting for the younger generation the younger generation well, they didn't have they don't have, they don't listen to nobody the back when we were young the ogs laced us you yeah feel but me? also the ogs will, will put their fucking hands on you if you got out of line motherfuckers get their tongue cut out their mouth well see that's the thing like honestly i'm gonna take it upon myself to say that um uh something happened and you know to the streets i don't know if it's drugs or what or just because like the 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 next generation of OGs um just didn't connect. You dig what I'm saying? Because because this let's not act mean. like our OGs are their OGs. You dig what I'm saying? No, because they're, they're not. not. You know, you, you got these cats that are 19, 20, 25 doing wild shit. Their OGs is the 35 year olds now. And the 35, no, no bullshit. No bullshit. They look at that shit like that. So, and the 35 year olds, they, they're not all of them all the way right. You know, and, and, and then it, it goes all the way up somewhere along the line on, on God. Like, it, I'm going to tell you right now, you tell you, if I go talk to one of these 19 year old youngsters and be like, what's up, bro? Tell them how old I am, bro. I'm a grandpa to them. And I could be, I could very well be. You do what I'm saying? My son, my son is 20. If he fucked around and had a kid right now, I'd be a grandpa. You dig? Oh, you dig? I'm 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 capable of pop pop. You feel me? You feel me? I'm the cool grandpa. Though. I've been working out. Yeah, but I feel like even with <sighs> even with um, the generations changing, the game really ain't changed. It's repeating the but same. The, the shit. thing is, the the game has always been there. It's just the rules. The rules of the game is what's changing now because the rules of the game were very specific, you know, and they were they're very easy and you know, followed or by by. But was, uh, you know, when you have a, um, a generation as this generation, I want to say is like rebellious. They're trying to rebel against their old way. They don't want to be linked to that. They don't want to be known for that. They want to build their own way and do it. And I, I I get that. I respect that. You want to make your own influence, but you got to understand some. When you shut off the generation before you, you're shutting off those life hacks you're shutting off that experience that you could tap into and just get guidance no one telling you that you because even my young homies the young homies that call me og and shit i don't i don't be like what's up little homie or nothing no i i speak to them as men right as men and as a man should with respect because that's the only way that they're going to respect me it ain't going to be about what i did in the past or whatever i mean that's a part of it i've set the example but what's happening now you know, it's their it's their time. This is their their life. I'm I'm old, man. I'm doing I'm doing other shit. I'm not the right. person I was when I was 16 putting in work. You know? So the thing I is feel that, like they the the younger generation is beyond disrespectful. That's like what I'm saying. But that's there's what I was like saying. but just not going beyond it's like y'all disrespectful, but it's like even a step further. You're dumb. Yeah, well, yeah, because the experience, they don't have, look, check this out. It goes back to what I was saying. Like, they don't have that hack of being able to talk to the OGs and stuff like that. You know, if you look at it right now, all these cats, how much they were talking shit, all these old motherfuckers and just the disres- blatant disrespect for the people before you. It's like you cutting your own self off, your own <laughs> hand off. I'm sure... Gunner, if he had a real fucking OG that was lacing his boots about shit like this, he would know and would have known that what he was going to do would have this effect on him. Right. You no, know? just like a lot of these youngsters that they, they ain't trying to hear it. We ain't listening. We doing what we want. Yeah. And look what's happening to y'all. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and look what's happening to y'all. You guys are so removed from the game and don't want to hear what anybody older that's been experienced, has been there, has to say to you that now, of course, you don't know the rules. And the rules are the rules, no matter if, if what who's running them or what the generation or what the climate is. The rules of the, the, of the street will always be the rules of the street. And no right. matter if you follow them or not, if you play with them, they're out there and you will feel it. 
Don't play so, with it. Don't play with it. Don't, don't play, play with it. Don't, don't play, play with it. it. Don't play. You feel me? So that's the that's the thing. So when I see that that shit, and people want to say, "Well, he's an artist," and you know, he's just this. I'm look. Okay. If you are, let's say you're square mix square bear, but you're portraying an image, and right. that's what he was doing. Regardless if you're a square or not, you have to be prepared for whatever comes with that. And a lot right. of times it's really just the streets trying to test you and trying to woo woo woo. And a lot of times it ain't just that. You know, the, in the streets, the real street shit, you're getting tested by the streets and by the police. You know, that's pressure. And, and, and what these cats don't know is nothing about that. See, the, the thing is that I don't like is it's trying to, it sets a bad precedent because, you know, people look up to these rappers and shit like that. So when they see these cats taking deals and nothing happens to them, they, you know, they think, oh, I could live this kind of lifestyle too. And guess what? You're not a fucking millionaire. And you want to know the other thing? Even if you live that lifestyle, right? We can say whatever we want out here as civilians. But the, the rules haven't changed in prison. Exactly. The laws ain't changed for you. So, like we were saying before, them, them snitches be the ones out here doing the most dirt, doing the yeah. most foulest shit, getting away with it, and the cops put them right back on the street. Yeah, some people get paid for it. Oh yeah, it, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a real thing. And see, so see, I personally tell people like, <clears throat> I'm one of those people. Don't go do no crime with me. And I and I but I tell people that. So like I had this, mind you, this was years ago, nothing ever happened, whatever the case may be, years ago. But I had a situation where somebody asked me to put, you know, a pistol under my seat. No. And just so you know, if they ask me who it belonged to, I'm gonna tell them the truth. But I've always been that way. Don't do certain shit around me civilian. because I don't do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the person you gonna take to go do an X, Y, and Z. And I and tell you that. So that means if you go anywhere with me, this is where I used to, when I was younger, I used to really be confused. Like, damn, am I a snitch? But the way I was taught You're was civilian, no, You're because not I'm also not, a, I'm not out here doing shit. You're not involved. When that's another thing, that's what I'm trying to like, the thing that I was trying to get at and, and explain is like, when you put yourself in the, this is the reason why snitches are a problem. When you put yourself in that lifestyle, you need to be able to be ready to take on all responsibilities that come along with it. See, and the thing is that the problem is that these dudes that are not ready for, to take on those responsibilities that happen and the possibilities are here living wild and foul, shooting people and fucking people up and doing whatever, you name it, whatever the case might be that they're doing. And what happens is they, they get put in a pinch. They're like, oh shit, now I'm going to tell on somebody and then now they're back out. Doing the same shit, doing whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the thing is that they don't realize that that don't make you safe. At all. That just means that you're free. You know, and and, and um, so, you know, when it comes to like another cat like Boston Richie, they put out his paperwork, they put out his interrogation, they put out this and that. It's like people act like, you know, people are real selective though too, because they're not putting as much heat on 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 this dude as they were putting on 6 9 and you know I ain't gonna lie I think Gunner got a lot of heat for what he was doing on, on the internet but this guy is like you know flying under the radar even though they got in my opinion they got everything that they need to, to categorize them what they're saying so um, it's neither here nor there don't so jump in there uh, uh, we're gonna you know we're gonna put it this way don't jump in some shit that you're not ready for period you know for real. and, 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 and don't put honest, people there's that are not just being a civilian it's okay look I'm gonna tell you like this don't expect shit from people that are not living like you neither. That, that, that goes an OG tip for you right there. Just because just because you're out there and you're moving around and you're around females and stuff like that and you're going to be like, don't expect her to ride for you, bro. That's not well, how it oh, works. Don't, oh. don't expect it to. See, that's... A, I mean, we, Listen, we got countless... That's fucking, another thing. Motherfuckers is... These niggas is feeling like, oh my God, I want me a down-ass bitch. These bitches is not down. That the way your mama rode for your daddy and made sure she was putting money on his books and therefore your mama could not be wavered. These hoes is not like that. So I'll be telling you, these, these 2023 20, hoes, they don't give a fuck. May the baddest wallet win, sir. You will be in there by yourself. Nah, uh, it, it's just a, it's just a wild, it's some wild shit. You know, I don't really like to speak on it because it's like. It's shit that should, should already be known. And, uh, you know, usually we try to keep the uh, podcast on a positive tip. But, you know, it's just what it is. That's just what I thought I, we thought we'd address it finally, you know. Um, what you got planned coming up? Anything anything going on? Any announcements? Ooh, 
So you know we gonna do this uh fuck your fupa shit that's gonna start on Monday. <coughs> <coughs> then also for Valentine's Day, and not to opulent aesthetics, we'll be having a special for uh y'all to jump on this pretty kitty committee. It's gonna be a pretty kitty show. It's gonna committee be the opportunity to city. get your pussy right so that you can get <laughs> so you can be like that um that officer when you jumping on the pole in your room with no rhythm. Like- make sure make it look good enough to eat. <laughs> make shit look good enough to eat that's what we working on so um i'll have more details and stuff later oh my merchandise came out oh my god i really need okay to so, so what the f- uh you know uh we listen, don't have a problem no, what happened you know? was, wait 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 before you go there listen okay okay the shit came in and i was on my de- listen it's so bad by the time the shit came in it sat on the porch for three days because I physically could not go downstairs to get it and the kids know not to open the door. Luckily, I don't live in a horrible neighborhood, so it just sat outside. So you didn't get but, the bib? No, I didn't get the bib. <laughs> <laughs> and in order for you to get to me, you got to come by a lot of police, so come at your own risk if you want to. Um, but yeah, no, living, like living I had, um, so I have now. some mm-hmm. high waisted insulate uh, sauna yoga pants. So it basically is targeting like your tummy area to make sure that you can lose a little bit of that fat around that tummy area. That's why it's called fuck your fupa. We trying to get that fupa all nice right. and we want to get it low as small as possible. Um, so it come in pants and it come in shorts. Seventy five dollars. I just make sure that you. Send us that so we could post it on the page. You know, this platform is your fucking platform too. You gotta always make sure that you plug that stuff and uh you know I'm I ain't mad. Are we gonna make the fuck your fupa song or what? Oh yeah, I already mean? got um I actually started <laughs> writing something. But like That's I right. said, I've been sick, I've been out of commission, so That's now good. I gotta get, in there. get it right. But yes, I definitely wanna do that. I wanna do that sooner than later. Like uh, I'm a I'm a DM you about it. You'll see what I wrote so far. You could give me some pointers. I feel you. I'm with it. you already know I told you we've been talking about this shit. We're gonna make it happen. Um what else? Any other announcements you got? Um, I'm back and I feel better. Don't let this cough fucking fool you. It is just some stupid ass lingering cough that doesn't want to fucking go home. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking uh, dope that you got your shit. And I, I really want to see you got to get some mock ups, take some pictures and shit so people can see because it's very important. Um, I noticed that um, the best pictures are the ones where you have somebody actually wearing it. Mm-hmm. You know, so maybe that might be a look. Um, any anything else? Is it? Um, no. Honestly, I'm just I'm trying honestly to get back, huh? Back. Trying to shake like, it off. I had to like I had so many emails I had to reply to. So many like I got behind on shit. Like I literally was just completely out of commission. Even now, I feel like I look very pale. Because I was just out of commission for so long. Like, yeah. legs wasn't working, all kind of shit. It was ridiculous. Right. But I'm back and I'm about to come even harder because I feel like January was fucked up. So February got to... I could dig it. I could dig it. All right. Well, shit, we're going to keep it moving. You know how we do this. I think this is good right here. I think we did a motherfucking good job, especially uh, you coming off, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, the, you know what I mean? A little uh, sit down and me just, you know, dealing with all kinds of crazy shit. Um, I want to uh, make sure that you guys follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast. Uh, make sure that you go to any of your favorite podcasting platforms, search up no invite, rate us, review us. It helps us very much unless you're a hater. Don't do none of that if you're a hater. But if you're a hater, that means you ain't going to do what I tell you to do. So if I tell you don't do that, you know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, I'm fucking them. Yeah, slowly. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so check it out. Uh Cully the Cully. Um, so then you could also go to our YouTube channel at Rebirth Media Films. It's R-I-B-I-R-T-H Media Films. Make sure that you guys um fucking do the same. Hate, 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 hate with your whole heart, you know? Cause uh for every reaction is an equal or opposite reaction, correct? So if you're gonna be a hater, that means it's just gonna bring positivity to to us, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, yes, also make sure that you guys go to Rebirth Clothing Co. All one word. That's R I B I R T H Clothing Co. Got these shirts online right now. Got tech suits, all kinds of little stuff. I'm about oh to do a pop up. Can we do a raffle? We should. 
we should actually you know what i want to do i'm going to be doing them pretty soon i'm going to do an official no invite uh t-shirt you know because i want to do logo a raffle fly. to see if anybody knows what that say i caught let's it immediately a, let's do a not a raffle you mean a a, a poll yes like a, yeah like a poll like a voting poll yeah we could do that on on the thing you'd be surprised because when i when i um when I came up with the idea, which is not uh, I, that I invented it, but, you know, I'm the one to put it in play. Um, I got like five different mock-ups with five different colors and I had them pitted against each other. And I did a poll. Which color do you like better? Boom. The winner from that would play the winner from the other two sets. You dig what I'm saying? And then they would play like kind of like the playoffs in football. And out of all of them, this design won. So this is the design I pressed up first. I'm going to have more different colors, different variations, white, red, whatever you name it. But I kicked it off with this. Uh, I got this and all kinds of different merch, Rebirth Clothing Co. Make sure that you guys go and tap in with that. We do have, when you go find us on Instagram, we do have a link. We are, if you go to um, Big Cartel, we have a page on there as well. And you can order online this t-shirt, other stuff, you know, it's up there. Um, ask your bitch, she probably already has some. Uh, with that being <laughs> said, this is episode 117. I am Blaze, you are... The best kept secret. And we are keeping it moving. Season four, the process. One.